Hello everyone. So today we're going to talk about a character who a while back we wanted to do and we never got to. We first heard about him when we studied up on the Strange Academy. We read the comic books and we absolutely loved them and we love this character. Of course we're talking about Doyle Dormammu. Now Doyle was born to a relatively normal human woman. However, after Doyle developed an inoperable brain tumor, his mother tried everything to cure him. And unfortunately, as a last resort, she took him before Dormammu, who then cured the boy, but he imbued part of himself into Doyle to do it. Now, years later, Doyle becomes one of the first students of Strange Academy, which is a relatively new school for young magicians, that Doctor Strange put together. Now immediately he is paired with Eirik as his roommate. Now Eirik is a Asgardian that just happens to be a kid. Now to say that this relationship was rocky from the start is a misnomer. Now they started to get along when Eirik is cast to hell as a punishment for his tardiness by magic. Doyle drops a sarcastic comment in front of the whole class which then prompts Magic to also send him there as well, where they spent the rest of the day fighting against demons for their very lives. Now as time generally passed, he grew more fond of his fellow classmate Emily Bright, although he felt like she never really noticed him. The rights to the creation of this character is given to Scotty Young and Humberto Ramos. And his first appearance is that of Strange Academy number one of March 2020. Now a Calvin Morse disappeared playing Door Tag. His magical jacket came to warn the students that he was being held in a swamp. Confident that they were capable of handling it with their little training, Calvin's closest friends decided to rescue him without even warning the school's faculty. When they get there, however, the situation is harder than anticipated, and Doyle was killed. Seeing this, Emily Bright, who had just confessed she thought Doyle was kind of cute, unleashed her full power against the enemy by siphoning her power along with Doyle's, but this proved too much for her body and mind, and she fainted. Now immediately after that, the faculty arrives, Dr. Strange and all of his other professors, to end the threat and rescue their students. Now Strange assisted Emily and brought her to the medical room at the school and brings Doyle's corpse along with her. Now after being healed by Hogoth as part of the deal with Strange, Emily tried to travel to the Dark Dimension to ask Doyle's father for help but she basically failed to navigate through the very obscure and odd dimension. Finally accepting the fate of her dear friend, she gave him a farewell kiss on the forehead, thus inadvertently bringing him back to life. Despite Hogoth's intervention, Emily still wasn't fully cured. When Doyle realized everything she had done for him, he reached out to Doctor Strange and offered a bit of himself to forge the Ring of Dread, which is basically meant to keep Emily safe. Now, during a lesson in time walking, Doyle overshot a portal and ended up many years into the future. While there, he saw Strange Academy in ruins and him and Emily as brutal enemies. Before he could see any more of this, however, he was pulled back by Dr. Voodoo. By seeing this, it convinced him he was on a path to becoming like his father. So the very next day, he decided to drop out of Strange Academy. Now Doyle leaves a note explaining all of this to Emily, but he is convinced by Dr. Voodoo that leaving the school could be the very reason he turns evil in the first place. Because of this conversation, Doyle decides to stay. Now this peace between Emily and Doyle actually doesn't last too long, as Emily stood him up for a school dance to comfort Calvin who had been expelled for dealing dark magic to students. The very next day, however, Doyle gave her the cold shoulder at lunch, and when she began complaining about the unfairness of Calvin's expulsion and how the school was run, they got into a brutal fight, 
which ended with him unleashing his power on every student in the academy. Now, Emily rallies most of the students into a whole school walkout. But while doing this, Doyle realizes that the Ring of Dread is actually influencing Emily's actions and told Dr. Voodoo about it. Now, the teachers confront the rebellious students who are hiding in the Sanctum Sanctorum, but they just escaped into the dark dimension. Now, as time passed, more and more students really just become disillusioned with Emily's plans and return to Strange Academy, eventually leaving only Emily and Desi in the Dark Dimension. Still, the duo was pretty keen about fighting the staff of Strange Academy because they wanted to stop what they perceived as the creation of an army that would blindly follow orders. Now, when Desi and Emily launch their assault on Strange Academy with the help of Dormammu, they fight their old classmates. And while Dormammu faces the teachers of Strange Academy, Doyle is teasing Emily's new look. Emily unleashes a powerful attack against him. Now, Eirik, who feared for Doyle's life, jumped in front of Emily's attack, losing his life in the process. Emily stops just momentarily, processing what she had just done. But the other students soon charge against her to get revenge, forcing her to react with more violence. Ironically, the final showdown was between Emily and Doyle, ending with Doyle absorbing the dark magic from Emily and letting the influence of Dormammu take him over. He told everyone to leave before he completely lost control as he grew into giant proportions. But Hogoth appeared in time to vanquish the dark magic and prevent Doyle from becoming the thing he feared the most. Now as far as his powers and abilities and attributes go, Doyle is a beast of a character. He has pyrokinesis, telekinesis, he has control over fire, and he has the ability to cast and manipulate all types of different magic. At the Strange Academy, he actually learns to use the ability to cast spells and incantations for a variety of effects and purposes. He even has the unique ability for time walking. Doyle can open portals to the past or future, either one, but he hasn't mastered this ability and therefore still lacks control. He also consists of pure mystic energy. Given to him by his father, he is transformed into a Faltine. Now we just absolutely love this character. This character is one of the newest, neatest characters that Marvel has come up with in quite some time. We think it's neat that he is the son of Dormammu, yet he still has very human characteristics. Anyway, you folks have a wonderful night, a wonderful evening, a good morning, whichever. Please like, share, and subscribe. We really do appreciate that. Also, leave a comment down below. Let us know what you think of this video. And maybe write down a character down below that you may want to see on this channel. As always, Excelsior.